Welcome Welcome back to the chamber chat. Where you been? I don't know, lost. Lost like a ball in in tall grass. No, it's been Christmas. We're new year, new place, new things. I know, new producer. New producer. Lance had to. We had nothing to do with Lance leaving. I got to tell you that right now. That was not us. I heard he headed for the border. Yeah, he was wanted. You know, there's there's rumors. I think that's what Kitty's looking for. But we have got a whole new year and a whole new whole new person behind the camera. Aaron. 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 We have gifts for you, Aaron. We're ready for this. Yes, we are. Yes, this is it. We, we got you something your, pretty. This is your Charlie Brown. Welcome to the office. Yeah, there you go. Plant. We expect it to here's be. Here's your lollipop for relief stress. And, and, and here's pencils. A, here's some pencils yeah. and a new pencil holder. Don't to help throw, you get in touch with your feminine side. Don't throw the pencils at us. Don't throw so. the pencils at us. Let's get rid of that. So, we can so in case Whee! you don't know who we are. What? Who are you? I'm Stacy Watts. And you are. I'm Veronica Mueva. And we are the, the Chamber, Chamber Chat. Chat. So when we come back, we will have the city manager with us, Matt, Matt. Mueller. And he's probably really afraid of us right now because it's been a while since it we've has, had him on. But there's all kinds of fun stuff getting ready to start happening. Mm -hmm. And he looks very damper in his suit. Damper? Damper. <laughs> no. Dapper. Damper. He looks dapper. <laughs> damper would be if he had spilled if something spilled on him. If he spilled water on him. I think we need he's to take a break. He's over there annoying us right now thinking, what have I signed up for now? We'll be right back, hopefully with a much drier mat. Well, we're back with Matt Mueller, the city manager. The city manager, who looks very grown up today. Thank you. you I, I've worn my Sunday yes, party. Yes, you can't. My you, cuff links. Oh, wow. Cuff for you guys. Thank you. But you're still wearing your rubber bracelet. Well, it's not a rubber bracelet. It's not a rubber bracelet. It's a strong bracelet. Hey, but that's, so, that's, that's it. more than a fashion statement. And you know, that's actually, we'll just start with that cause <laughs> because we were going to um, touch on what you've been doing this past year and what you're going to be doing in the coming year. And so we'll start with Get Fit Guthrie. How's that going? It's, it's good. It's actually kind of merged into Get Fit Logan County. Ooh. And uh, it's taken on a, a whole identity of its own. Awesome. It's been very exciting. It's amazing how far it's come just in the last year. Are awesome. you fit yet? Uh, no, I'm not. He's okay. He's he not runs marathons. Yet. Yeah, that doesn't mean you're fit. I think that just means that <laughs> Are you kidding me? I couldn't walk a marathon. Just means, suffer for a long it just time. means you're insane. <laughs> well, you briefly thought about it. Briefly. I, I got yeah. fit and then I... We, we got fit for a few days. Oh, I thought you meant fit for shoes. I got fit for... <laughs> no, okay, never mind. You know, I'll, I'll, Sorry. I'll, I'll call him out here on the show just so that he, he can't back down. But Damon, the police chief, has committed to the half marathon. Really? really? And if he hasn't, if he hasn't officially committed, maybe I'm committing him here. But you know, so it's it's spreading like Ooh. wildfire throughout the organization. You know, oh we're, wow! We're trying to be a very healthy. How long do you have to run this marathon? <laughs> uh, you know, I think they closed down the half marathon course in like four hours. Oh. So you can do that. You can How many crawl, miles is that? You can crawl thirteen miles. How thirteen miles? Yeah. You want us to run 13 miles? You can crawl, walk, roll, I don't whatever. Think I can roll, roll, roll. Salt, you know, whatever it takes. We can take turns pushing him. Pull it, how about a wagon? Matt can pull us as he runs. That's right. We just take turns with the wagon. We'll take turns with the wagon. A lot. Okay, so that takes care of Get Fit Guthrie. So there's a lot going on. I know you just had the um, the Wellness Expo. Did that go well? It, it did. It was highly attended. Uh, I was not there, so I can't speak from first-hand experience. That was How actually that work. Uh, I, well, I had another meeting that Oh, night, okay. Because so, you know, he's the important city he's, manager. Because he is. He's a busy, busy man. I would have rather been at the expo, but uh, but the, from what I understand, I uh, had great turnout and a oh, lot good. of excitement. Good. So uh, you know, Guthrie is really um, you know coming along and doing a lot more active things as, as a community. We were uh, we were, have been selected as one of the uh, as one of the major stops in the Oklahoma Freewheel Tour which is an awesome. annual, annual bike, bike tour, tour from you know, really? one corner of the mm -hmm. state to the other. And uh, wow. we're, we're right at the midway point. When is that taking place? That is, I believe June 13th is when Fun. is when Guthrie will Are be. you participating? Uh, no, I think I'm just going to participate in, in you know helping out with the hosting duties because awesome. I guess they give away an award for the best best stop. And you know, oh, wow. Wow. We need to be the best we stop. Could be yeah, best we definitely stop. need to be the best stop. I was just going to... Okay, no, that probably wouldn't work. I was thinking we could set up, you know, smoothie stands and hot dog stands, but that's probably no, not they, in they, keeping with no, the... No, they want that kind of stuff. Oh, they okay. Well, yeah, because they're going to bike it off. Yeah, they're that's right. They're going to be hungry. Gonna they're going to be hungry. Yeah, they're going to have to... They're Get the big police have places to eat grill out there and put them There we go. All the, the police rocket, up there. The Rockin' S. There you yeah. go. That's Ooh. it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. 
So what else is going on in the city? Tell me what's new. Oh, you know, something new every day. Um, we're, uh, you know, we're really moving forward trying to, trying to you know, plan for the future. Uh, the city council just had their, their retreat um, the last weekend of January and, and I came up with a lot of good long-term goals, a, lot, a big list of things for me to do, which is good. That's good. I guess that, Job that, security. Yeah, it keeps me employed, you know, yeah. since I know what they expect of me. Um, but uh, a, lot, a lot of good goals there, you know, and it kind of, they all continue to go along the lines mm -hmm. with, with the core, core values of integrity, service, quality of life, and, um, you know, some of the biggest goals are to, to make sure the community has adequate infrastructure, you know, mm -hmm. for the future. Right. Um, to make sure that we're operating with financial integrity, to mm -hmm. get ourselves on a very solid uh, financial platform. Play uh, well with others. Play well with others, get along with, with get others, along with which we're trying to do, you know. You do a good job. How's yeah. the, uh, how's the, I know there's still some residual cleanup going on from the tornado. How's the animal shelter coming? Yeah. yeah, animal shelters come along great. Um, good. You know, they've, uh, uh, they had uh, Rescue You uh, that was here mm -hmm. and did a lot of volunteer efforts and, and uh, put a lot of time and energy into the facility. The uh, the shell of the building is up. Okay. Oh, and uh, a lot of the interior work is done. Do you have so a rough date of reopening? Uh, I don't. I don't because it. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say reentry, but re -entry. it's not <laughs> it. nice. <laughs> but it, it shouldn't be much longer, you know. Good. And uh, it's going to be very nice. The facility is going to be great, and uh, I think it's going to it's going to end up being better than it has been. Great, great. So. Tell me about the code red. Uh, code red. That's a that's a great great um, system that we put mm -hmm. in place last year about this time last year. And uh, it's a, it's a, uh, I can't really say reverse 911 because I think that's a trademark name, right. but it's a reverse call out system, uh, notification system that allows the city to issue pre recorded messages to geographical areas in the city. Uh, you know, if there was a missing child or a hazardous chemical mm -hmm. spill or something like that, something that people need to know about. Um, and everyone, you know, we, we implement uh, or we, we bring in the 911 database, so mm -hmm. most people are, are already in that. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you go online and go to the Code Red, um, you know, uh, sign up mm -hmm. page, a little graphic on our website, okay. you can kind of go in and create yourself an account and customize the numbers that you want. Like, say you'd rather us call you on your cell phone mm -hmm. rather than your home phone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can do that and you can also sign up. Uh, or opt into this uh, component called the weather warning system. And that allows you to choose, these actually don't come from us, they're automatic messages from the National Weather Service, but if, uh, if, if the area where you live, where your address is located, is, is um, included in a warning, tornado warning, flood warning, thunderstorm, uh, you can actually choose each or every one of those. Oh, awesome. Um, it will give you an automatic call when the National Weather Service issues that warning. Wow. Now to register, do you have to live within the city limits? Because like, I live in the county, yeah, but it, I have a go for address. It's just for the city limits. Um, it's, okay. you know, it's based on geographical boundaries. And uh, so it is, it is only, it only takes in the city limits. Well, that's a great program. I it hope is. that I would encourage everyone to utilize that. Yeah, yeah we, we do have a lot of, of usage on it. And uh, when we've, when we've sent out, um, messages we've got a very high connect rate uh, mm -hmm. a, a large percentage of people are getting those messages so uh, I, I think good. it's a very good good mechanism for us to keep the public safe and informed awesome well thank you again Excellent. for joining us today yeah, and i'm sure we'll me. have you back at 89 or some really? month or so uh, look, i'll wear a cowboy hat maybe but oh i would pay good money to see whoa that. yeah you'd have to you've worn reindeer you've worn a reindeer costume why couldn't you wear a cowboy hat i think i'd rather wear a reindeer costume you've got a reindeer costume with a cowboy hat i'm about zero percent country I know, I know I don't fit in in Oklahoma very well. You do know where you live, right? <laughs> I know, I know. I, you know, I grew up in a town. You heard this uh, thing called Red Dirt? <laughs> I, I grew up in a town of 2,000 people. My family was the only one who didn't have, have land and run cattle. So, you know, we're in the taco business in Fairview. Yeah. Well, you can wear a cowboy hat and pretend to sell tacos now. <laughs> okay. And go buy some boots before 89 or before you get in trouble. Know, At least get, yeah, get before some. you get in big trouble. So, well, when we come back, we're actually going to be joined by Lucy Swanson from the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. We're back whether you're ready for <laughs> us or not. We are here with the lovely Lucy, Lucy Swanson, Swanson from the Guthrie Chamber of Commerce. So Lucy, what do you do at the chamber? Run for Mary. Well, you know, there are she just throws the two things. of us there and we have uh, the jobs of it, at least four people and more. And the really? strength of yes. 10 men. Ten. <laughs> there you go. So we do just everything that comes our way. We, we uh, hope to, through the CBB, we, we 
promote Guthrie. We tell people all over the world how wonderful Guthrie is and that they should come and visit us and not just spend an afternoon, but spend a lifetime. Ooh, that's oh, good. That was good. That's good. <laughs> I've been practicing. I need to pay you more to say that. Yeah, that's they do. cute. They do. That's <laughs> good. I don't know. Ask you for it. <laughs> and uh, there are just a multitude of things that we do through the CBB, which is actually, I believe, was set up to be a whole separate entity from the Chamber of Commerce. CBB. But is that, is that is that is that a vote? <laughs> oh, that's a vote. Yeah, I think the convention and visitors, visitors bureau. bureau. Convention oh, visitors I get bureau. confused. Okay, and and they do we do a great job actually of promoting uh, Guthrie and getting tourism in and buses and and cars and carriages and horses. And <laughs> but you spend a lot of your time signing up new members. And you? what I'm supposed to be doing is signing up new members often and always and and that. Uh, that's what I enjoy doing a lot, talking to people and telling them how nice our town is and how much we'd love for them to belong to the chamber and have the benefits of belonging to the chamber. And what are some of those benefits? Some of the benefits are the networking mm -hmm. that we have oh, yeah. available with through other members. We have the chamber coffee, as most people know, on Wednesday mornings at 9.30. And we usually have a really good crowd there. We, yeah. We have not me, but yeah. <laughs> It's too early for you. If morning came later in the day, I'd be fine. You'd be right there. I'd be right there. We usually have between 30 and 50 people at, at Chamber Coffees every week. And, uh, and you do ribbon cuttings for new businesses? We do ribbon businesses. cuttings, yes. Would you like to go ahead? Yeah, just try to help okay. you out. Thank you. Well, I can remember now. <laughs> well, but I might forget. So, there we go. Um, but, yes, we do ribbon cuttings and we do uh, we do a lot of promotions with, we have our rack cards in the front foyer at the chamber. People can, uh, members can come and bring brochures and coupon books and so forth and Ooh. leave it there. When the tourists come in, they can get those and go and frequent your business. One of the exciting things that we're getting ready to uh, have for the chamber end of the, uh, not the CVB, but the chamber end of, of our work is a new website that's going to be geared strictly to the community. The website we have now is really nice, but it's a tourism website. It's a CBB website. It's really wonderful for people that are wanting to come visit Guthrie and they get all the good information that they need, but it's not as applicable to just people that live in Guthrie. Oh, okay. so it's just, just the local so merchants. Yes. And, it... and so we'll have all of our membership. We are going to have a, the opportunity for them to buy advertising on the website. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very interactive. We're, we have a, a Guthrie News uh, page and oh. the sports page are going to link in. He's going to link in, so we'll have the latest scores and the latest headlines, and then you'll have to go to his site to get the full story, of course. We're going to have a calendar, a community calendar that's going to be, we're hoping that all of the organizations and churches and, and, and uh, anybody that has events going on in town or in the county will plug into that, that calendar and we'll, it'll be well, like that a replace the one so you now? Primarily, yeah. So it's it's pretty much going to be a like a virtual community bulletin board. That's really what we're hoping for. We want it to be a one-stop shop for anybody right. that's interested in anything in Guthrie. We'll have links to the city website. We'll have mm -hmm. links to the school's website. We'll have links to you know anybody that wants to to hook in so that. Instead of having to jump to a hundred different websites to get your information, you can just have that as your homepage. You go and you turn on your computer in the morning and you have everything that's going on in Guthrie just right there. Very accessible and plus it'll be really, really good marketing for our members. It'll give them a real good value. Oh, good. And make sure that, I mean, it's amazing to me still. Uh, I'll find out all of a sudden, wait a minute, I didn't know we had that here. Right, right. Yeah, I didn't know we had that here. What, what, yeah, so. <laughs> That's exactly so. I mean, I, when I started working here at the chamber about eight months ago, I had been a housewife for 30 years. And I have to say, I, there was a very, very huge disconnect between my life day to day and what was going on in Guthrie, in downtown and in just in town in general. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to get all those people that I used to hang out with you know, well, actually, I didn't hang out with anybody but my kids because I like them all right. But, uh, <laughs> well, that's good. I have to get all my friends and all the people that are just mm -hmm. that are normal, everyday people dragging their kids to school and going sure. to the grocery store and everything, and just kind of bypass downtown because it's where the tourists go. There are some cool things that are happening in downtown Guthrie. 
We've got wonderful productions at the Pollard. We have great restaurants. Yeah, we have music. Way to start. We have places downtown that have music all every week. You know, yeah. live music. It's great. It's wonderful, and and there are just so many opportunities for people to really, really, really enjoy themselves and get them. You do not have to go to Edmond or Oklahoma City to have a fun time on Good. the weekend. Well, we're back with Steve Gentling from the 89er Committee, and Steve is going to give us a few quick facts about um, the upcoming 89ers event. Well, we're really excited about the 89er event. Uh, of course, the 89er uh, event, the whole event, recognizes the land run of 1889, uh, April 22nd. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we, we cel always celebrate it on the weekend that's closest to the 22nd, mm -hmm. so we're celebrating on the 17th to the 21st Excellent. of right. April. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's uh, we got some great great activities. Uh, a lot of the same things from from years past. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have the the uh, cook off, the chuck wagon cook off. Oh, yeah. That's on always Tuesday, fun. Tuesday uh, down at the fairgrounds, and that's always a great thing. We probably have about five or six hundred meals that we serve down there. That's uh, and uh, and that's I understand you're going to do the dishes this year. That's really well, nice. you know, it's <laughs> not, it's not I, much I, different from what I do every day at home. Well, that's, so oh, there, you go. there you go. I'm game. And, Why not? Uh, she she doesn't know what it means to wash a dish, but I'll teach her. I'm 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 going to stop talking yeah, now. <laughs> always do the track. Let's talk yeah. about the parade. No, go ahead. <laughs> we'll get to the parade. But, uh, and then Wednesday through mm -hmm. through Saturday is when the carnival hits town. Mm -hmm. uh, all, of, all of the, yeah, great, great food. We've got the arts and craft people, vendors that come in. Right. The food vendors that oh, come in. Oh, yeah. We probably have about, about 60 or 70 vendors that will be lining the streets along really? the course. Really? Is it that many every yes. year? Mm -hmm. about, you have about 60 I think I just kind of, I, I come to a screeching halt at the corn dog thing yeah, and then so I kind of, yeah, go yeah, into a food coma. I can understand that, and, but cool. uh, we got a lot of different varieties of food uh, that the vendors are providing, mm -hmm. as well as uh, arts and crafts and, and presentations uh, mm -hmm. uh, along those lines. And of course, the carnival uh, yes. from Wednesday to, to Saturday. Uh, Thursday, we'll have the reenactment of the old timer baseball game. And well, that is fun. I, throwing out the first. Pitch. I actually played last year. Oh my yes, gosh! Yes, you did. It was it was <laughs> exciting. <laughs> It, it was fun. entertaining. It really was. It I'm was. Sure it was a lot of fun. It was a lot. I don't of think fun. you hit the ball though. Well, well I was. I was robbed. <laughs> I was robbed. So I we've got that afraid. going on Thursday, yeah. uh, and then Friday and Saturday the rodeo uh, comes right. to the fairground. Yeah. Uh, Good and, time. Uh, we're going to try something maybe a little bit different this year. We're going to have a, uh, a karaoke uh, and uh, at the rodeo. No. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> I heard to say, I want to see that. Karaoke, and we're looking for singers. So, yeah, I Lucy sings. Lucy sings. Lucy sings. Lucy sings. Lucy sings. Lucy sings. She, she just left the ring. We so volunteer her. But we're, we're going to have that uh, along with hopefully a beer garden uh, in the American Legion. And, uh, you know, with enough Fun. karaoke, it sounds really You great. know, it does. Then, one, uh, one way or another, it gets better. So we're focusing that on Friday and Saturday. That hasn't been firmed up, but mm -hmm. that's, our, that's our plan. Uh, and uh, so that's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, Saturday. Parade. 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 Biggest parade in Oklahoma. And right what, here. It, it really is. It, it's, all, it's a great parade. It awesome. It's a great parade. And we would like to say thank you for inviting us to MC. Well, we're that, very will excited. Be, that will be really exciting. It's the highlight really of our year. We're excited. Yay! I'm excited. I'm Watching very those floats excited. go by. Yeah, it'll oh, be fun. Hey, it'll I've, be fun. Hey, I've, I've, I've judged floats in the past. It's, yes, it's, it's, it's and it, you learn a lot about it. The more it's, it's fun. If you really start looking at what goes through in a parade, I mean, let's face it. Most of the time, you're busy dodging candy. Yes, well, but, but to really sit dodging and dodging it, I thought you stood up with the bag. She's pretty quick. I understand. She, she usually stands that. there with a bag. I don't know what it's, she's talking it's about. It's really, it's uh, I'm collecting it for, for them. I'm keeping hat. them Last safe. Last year, I'm pretty sure she had a ten-gallon hat. Oh, I was trapped in a car. No, sakes. but it's it's really fun well, watching uh, General, what they do. Well, uh, General Kevin McNeely, uh, mm -hmm. local, uh, local, yes, man, yes. Uh, is going to be our parade marshal. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And by the way, the theme for this year's oh, year yeah. is uh, is heroes of service. And so we're recognizing Excellent. the military, mm -hmm. uh, the police, the police. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fire, firemen in Wonderful. Winter. Cool. And uh, so that's kind of a, an exciting thing. That, that is. They, they, really, uh, they really deserve, of course, our recognition for what they do for I us I can't wait to see the buttons. Day. 
So, uh, General McNeely is going to be our, our, our parade Brigadier marshal. Brigadier General, yes. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, we will be selling buttons. Uh, yes. That uh, we've got already designed. Oh, when, do, when, do they, when do they come out? They'll come out about the last week in March. Uh, okay. And uh, start selling those around uh, about the same time we start mm -hmm. selling tickets for you the You can get the buttons fee. all over town. Get, get those and your tickets for the chuck wagon fee. Mm -hmm. And we'll have windows uh, decorated throughout the, uh, right. throughout the business area. Uh, windows, uh, and we actually have a contest for the best window, mm -hmm. actually three, the three best windows, that recognize that theme. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have decorated windows all over the downtown area. Uh, merchants are, are in tune with it. And, Excellent. And it, it'll be really exciting. And of course, with that theme, there's so much opportunity mm -hmm. for a lot of different things. The theme also pertains to the floats, and we have, right. uh, of course, we have uh, uh, contest for the best floats. Okay. We are working on trying to, to uh, also generate some, some monies to uh, recognize the best band uh, for the parade. So uh, that's, uh, that's something that we're, that we're working on. And um, now I, who, I think it'll be exciting. Who all, who all works on this? Do you need volunteers? Well, we can always use volunteers. Always use volunteers. We Call have them. an 89er committee mm -hmm. uh, that meets the uh, the second Tuesday of, of the month mm -hmm. uh, at the American Legion. Uh, call the American Legion. 282-2589. Oh, you are so good. Yay. Uh, I wrote call it the, down. Call the American <laughs> Legion uh, and uh, for more specifics. Or we have a website, mm -hmm. 89erdays.com. Is it 89erdays.com. Yeah. Or they can also access that link, I believe, through the chamber. I was going to say, there usually is a link on the there. chamber. Uh, it's a great link. So, what time's the parade? The parade will be at noon. Noon. Kick off at noon. Yep. Uh, we're also adding, uh, after, right after the parade, we're going to have a static classic car display. Oh, uh, fun. So they will have classic cars in the parade, but right after the parade, they'll be setting up their, mm -hmm. their, their static displays. That'll that be cool. Where are they going to set up at? Marvin Petty. Uh, on uh, right on uh, right across from Gage's uh, Steakhouse there. Oh, on uh, First Street. Oh, first. on First Street. That okay, that'll lot, be fun. Uh, where they do Dragon Main. Also. That'll be, be fun. Right there, and get in, and get in there and see those cool. Fantastic. Cars. That'll be great. Yeah. Well, Steve, we thank you for coming by. I'm sure oh, you'll be pleasure. visiting with us again oh, next yeah. month. I can only. And hope. then we'll be talking with you the day of the parade, of course. Oh, absolutely. So, it'll be great. When uh, we come back, I believe we will have our esteemed chamber president. The mighty Miss Mary. The mighty oh Miss Mary who mighty likes to swing Mary. from I'm buildings. I'm so glad I'm before her because nobody follows her. Nobody there follows you her. There you go. We'll see you in a moment. We are back with yes. Mary Coffin from the Chamber of Commerce. The illustrious Miss Mary. So what's your plan for this year? I know it's the beginning of the year for you and, and you've got your budget in place, you're working on your budget. and We have our, our banquet on the 23rd of this month at mm -hmm. 6.30, Job Corps And that's open to the public? That. It's not open to the public, but you know, anybody can join. So anybody can join the chamber, you can join and mm -hmm. uh, go to our, our banquet see. to see what we're doing. Or you can actually come to our coffees. Uh, that's also another place where you can come in and see what we're doing if you like what we're doing. You know, mm. maybe you want to join. Civic membership's fifty dollars a year. Mm -hmm. So we have quite a few civic members that enjoy being part of the chamber because of I send out memos. They enjoy reading about what the chamber's doing. They know what's going on. More closely detailed whenever uh, with with the memos that I send out. Uh, we're working on an educational series. We have uh, we've got it posted on our web calendar, mm -hmm. and we're doing uh, every month the second Tuesday of every month, we will have somebody, maybe it's either in our office or somewhere else that's mm -hmm. going to do an educational series. We could have some people watching that might want to know what's going on next month. Mm -hmm. Brad Rickleman at, from Rene Technology is going to do a program on how to handle difficult and important conversations. Ooh. So basically how to troubleshoot difficult situations. Great topic. Ooh, that is Everybody good. needs to know oh. that. Okay. So you just call the chamber, make a reservation. Uh, some of these, some of these guys are going to feed you. Some of them you can bring a box lunch in or bring mm -hmm. in whatever you want. We'll let you know. But you can call the chamber, and and you can go on our website and see. But because we're booked all the way through September for. Uh, can I talk about the business after hours? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> absolutely not. This is not called the chamber chat or something. Of course you can. What? That's one more thing that we've got in our in our arsenal. Sites, in our arsenal, yes. 
We have an arsenal. <laughs> we do. You get to light it on occasion, Stacy. <laughs> you can be part of that if you want. Oh, goody. Wait, what is it? <laughs> Our arsenal. You are part of the arsenal. I you am. Do an, this. An, okay. I suppose I have such an explosive personality. Hello. It's uh, what are we talking about? I've completely lost track. We're talking about after hours. And I'm, I'm all, just. I haven't everywhere. said a word. Business after hours. Business after hours. Yes, any business can do this. Um, we're doing it starting in March, the first Thursday of every, every other month. This is for our members. I started to say. Yeah. So. You have for, to be a member. And they can showcase can their that. business. They can mm -hmm. have this at their business. And it's we want it to be. You said. You, were, you guys were talking about the coffees with Lucy, and you were like, well, I don't get up that early if there was something later. Hey! This is for you. This is perfect for you. Thank you. Okay? You can come. I if feel they so want to, If they want to have mixers, if they want to, you know, mm -hmm. do whatever, uh, it's just going to be very casual. Hey, let's get together. Let's just interact and, uh, and network with some people and have a good time. We'll do it for an hour, and we'll invite like this out. So it's like it's the a chamber... Coffee, but on uh -huh. Hawaii time. Well, it's a little <laughs> bit more informal than okay. like a lunch and learn or right. the chamber it's coffee. It's not as formal like as the that. chamber no, it's coffee. It's like the coffee, only it's at five o'clock. There you go. I'm done. My world is complete. My world is complete. There you go. I'm gonna run into that. Okay, that's all I want to talk about. I just don't even know what else I could ask for at this point. I know we've had a full set. So excellent. I can't wait to see what else you've got for us next week. Thanks for having me over. Sure. We'll be back next month. Oh, yeah. Now that all the holiday crazies are over, we've missed you guys. I know you've missed us. Just Well, they've horribly. missed you. They've missed me. You're the entertaining one. I don't know that they missed me. I've had a lot of stuff thrown at me in the last week. That's why I duck. That's right. <laughs> we will be back next month, though, with a whole new Line arsenal up. of I think we're going to have next month. Maybe we'll have to bring Damon back on since he's got toys. Well, he brings his own props. He, he can. So, well, it'll be fun at whatever we do. Yes. And so get for, there, additional, have some fun. for additional information on any activity in the community, you can go to GuthrieOK.com or you can always have access to Mary at MaryOK.com. Or, or you can just call her at 282-1947. She's the woman. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.